You fit in there, big guy? Fuck yeah, I fit. I'm going racing. What do you mean? <laughs> It's hit I got against the, the ceiling. Only yeah, look at, look at my, his only knee. Only hit my knee a little bit on the. A little bit. The whole dash moving. Well, we might just cut a hole. All right, so let's get back at it with part three of our Danger Ranger build here we got some graphics for the side shout out to our boy uh, Chris Griffin for getting those printed out for us we gotta do our O2 sensors we gotta put this seat in we gotta get the uh, window net in we gotta change the oil in it we got to what else change the cooling out for some water and we need to get this thing done because I think we have two weeks left really one week so we got one weekend and we need to get PJ's car back in here and start working on that thing so Let's get this thing finished up. Get these O2 sensors welded on in. Let's see. One right there in the back. And we got two up front I was putting in right now. Stan, this is my favorite thing. Yeah, you used to have a Trans Am that sat here, you know? A long time. Yeah, it's been, it's been a minute. I didn't crawl under it much though. That's true. welded in that's going to be the downstream and you can see there's a little piece in there from that pipe sliding in but it should be okay because we're going to put a defouler on there which will stick it out further and i got this in front of the light we got a second one we got an upstream up here and we got another one up there so looking good we'll put our o2 sensors in we have um, a couple extenders over there to bring it from the top up there down here and this plug is right here, so hopefully it runs a lot better with these in. Why does it not move? Uh, probably because you're not sitting in it. You seem to need more tension than that? Yeah, maybe. So we're thinking maybe if we take these slides off and use these to mount it in the cab. I don't know, if we're trying to go through our options and figure out what would be the best to mount this seat. We could just go ahead and weld it in with some extra bar that we have. And weld it in there, we're trying to bolt it in, or we're trying to see if we can use the other rails to maybe fit. I don't know, we're going to have to go through a few different uh, things here and figure this out. Wait, are you testing out? New Ryan <laughs> grinder. Not, not sponsorship. Not sponsored? Well, kind of. Not yet. Oh. No sponsor. I'll work for them. Facts. All right, so we decided we're just going to cut these things off, and we'll bolt it in, and then set the seat on it, tack it, and the camera's not even focusing at all. And then it should be uh, good to go, at least in theory. see down there to tack onto each of those brackets there and these two brackets over here and hopefully we'll unbolt it and then weld the whole thing bolt it back in so
right, we're going after this little net here to make some different brackets to fit, but we're basically gonna use kind of a spring method here. This was good old Fowler's design. It'll have a bump stop there, so it'll push in, go against the spring, and then slide in on the side, which that probably didn't make any sense, but we'll show you here in a minute. Got a couple more brackets to make so that it fits nice in the door. I'm gonna mount it up. How are we looking? Getting everything put together. Bunch of, then got a couple more bunch of different together. brackets. That one there. Be, yep. You gotta be able to Bracket there. tack this thing in. All right. Tack it in. What are you doing down there? Tack it in. Why are you so weird? <laughs> Do you really just need any jelly roll yeah. Hmm. I still know. Who's jelly roll? My brother didn't know who jelly roll was. They were just boxing like laughing and shit. I think mean, you're a friend's floor? He was like, no. We got to hold this. I was not there for Need freaking six more hands. I mean, he's been Tack that thing on there. He's been around as long as Lil Wyatt. He's been around as long as Lil Wyatt. Yeah, As long as Lil Wyatt? He's been around with Lil Wyatt back in the day. So window net is in and uses basically it's a little hard to do from right here, but uses a spring on this side, plugs in, the spring holds it. Got the seat all welded in. Welded to the brackets, welded there, and then bolted in. And she's nice and sturdy. So now we'll have to get the harness bar to the 240. And we'll have to build, we might be able to use this for one, uh, one of the seat belts. Let's see if there's anything over here. Uh, we might be able to use some kind of hook off this down here. And then, let's see, we'll need something in the front here. So, to mount for the bottom harness coming up. So, we'll get harnesses in tomorrow. And we should be able to... Pull this thing out and yeah, we'll pull this thing out. We'll give it a little bit of a wash and then we got some graphics to go on it. We'll put air dot racing on the hood there and then we got some for the back with YouTube symbol. And yeah, so let's go over there and get this outside and get it washed up. All right, gonna get the stickers on and there we go. The old stickers on the car. So you'll see, still gotta make, we're probably gonna try, I don't even know if it's worth it, pop that dent out, probably gonna put a new one in there when we race, but YouTube symbol there. And then obviously we got that one, shout out to Chris Griffin. Things look freaking amazing. And then we'll do another YouTube symbol in front over there. It's looking freaking good. And I think that is probably gonna do it for this one, the seats. Mounted, sway seats mounted, nets in, cages in. We got a few little things like oil change and swapping out the water, but that's not very interesting. So I'm excited. We got, I think like a week, week. We head down there Thursday and uh, races on Saturday. So I'm freaking stoked. And uh, hopefully y'all watch it. It's uh, on baldeagle.com. You can buy the pay-per-view. Um, I think it's like $15 for uh, if you buy it now, if you buy it the day of, it's like 20 So if you want to watch us racing out there at the old Freedom Factory, you know, make sure you get that. And uh, we'll see you out there. Tell your friends.